Hey everyone, Josie Andrade here, just wanting to give you a quick market update as I walk through this home this Wednesday, April 20th. I wanted to give you a, a, an update on the market trends and the trends that I've been keeping a watchful eye. It's been rather interesting in our industry. And as always, I'm keeping our fingers on the pulse because things are changing that quickly. So it is important to be on the cutting edge of change and change is happening really, really fast here. So today, April 20th, uh, the mortgage interest rate for an FHA loan with a seven, uh, 760 FICO score for an FHA loan is already at 4.875. Folks, today the rate is better than it's been the last couple of days. So you would have heard me say into the fives, but today is actually a much better day. We're looking at 4.875 for an FHA loan with a 760 FICO score. Uh, the rate could be higher depending on the type of loan, uh, depending on the type of home, that is if it's not a single family home. Uh, this is specifically for a single family home. Let me make that clear. Specifically for a single family home, 760 FICO score, 4.875 FHA today. If you are looking into a conventional, again, high FICO scores, you're already at five and a quarter, 5.25%. And the lower the score, the higher the rate. So you could also be looking, if you're in the 720, 700 score, you're already looking at five and a half today. Uh, that is today, Wednesday, April 21st. So wanted to bring to your attention, what is trending? Well, what is trending is as the rates are rising as quickly as they are, we are now beginning to see the properties sit on the market a couple extra days. Much different than we've had from the last several months when we were on fire. Properties going into contract two, three days from the days that they went on market. Today, we have an additional two days on market. And that tells us the market is slowing down. Another indicator that we're keeping a watchful eye on, or should I say another trend that I'm keeping a watchful eye on is um, the, the demand of buyers is starting to slow down. Yes, and that is, we're seeing that in the mortgage applications. I'm seeing it myself in the inquiries that I'm getting a lot less of. Uh, fewer buyers looking to get qualified. And what is causing all of that? Again, the quick increase in the mortgage interest rates. It is far more difficult, uh, yes, for a buyer to get qualified. Uh, you have got to have, I mean, it's always been important to have good credit, but I always say the same, and that is it's never been more important than it is today to have really good FICO scores. So again, we can offer you help on that, but ultimately all to say is, is that we are seeing the buyer's demand slow down. And while that happens, we're going to see that the inventory slowly rise, such as the effort of the feds to slow down inflation. So by the quick increase in interest rates that they're doing, we will see more inventory begin to rise. So that is the counter effect of their efforts in rising the interest rates and, and their attempts to slow down inflation as they state. Anywho, <laughs> I also wanted to say, let's see behind me, 6490 square foot lot, you guys. It's a really nice, big, spacious, it's like an open canvas back there, ready for somebody to build their dream pool home or just like I mentioned, just their own little paradise. So come and check it out, 11338 Hermes Avenue in Norwalk. Um, and again, doing a grand opening this, uh, starting tomorrow, actually, tomorrow Thursday. So come and check it out. What else did I want to talk to you about? Um, okay, so the increase in the slow increase in uh, inventory starting to show up. Again, we will see more inventory coming on the market. I'm already seeing more inventory. Typically by this time of year, we would already be at a much higher amount of inventory. But again, with things changing so quickly uh, and the rate rising so fast, you're gonna see more inventory undoubtedly if you haven't already uh, experienced that. So. As always, I'm here to serve. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for sharing. And I'm here to serve. Take care and we'll talk soon. Bye.